Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video in the Python series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to run a Python script using the Python interpreter on the command line. Okie dokie, so last episode we learned how to create our first Python program and run it using PyCharm. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how you can run it outside of PyCharm using the Python command, which uh, invokes the Python interpreter. Now you have to remember that PyCharm is essentially, the goal of PyCharm is to make your life easier. So that's why you can run the Python scripts that you create within PyCharm itself, but that's not how you have to do it. So let me show you how you can run it uh, the regular way, because let's say that you are not using PyCharm and using a different text editor like uh, Sublime, or even Notepad. You can write Python programs in Notepad if you wanted to. And here's how you'd run it um, if you did that, okay? So first what you wanna do is open up a command prompt or a terminal. Um, the easiest way to do that on Windows is to use PowerShell. So once you have PowerShell open, what you wanna do is navigate to the folder that contains the Python file that you want to run. And the easiest way to do that is to get the path of it. So go up here, right click and do open in Explorer. And now it's gonna open it up within the file explorer. Go to your folder, your project folder, hello world. And now you can see your Python file right here. So go ahead and click this, it'll give you the path. So control C to copy that. Go back here and do CD space and then control V to, to paste that and then press enter. And now it has moved your command prompt or your terminal here into the hello world folder within the tutorials folder. So now if you do LS, it'll list all of the files that are located within this folder here. So you can see your hello world script is right there. So what I've done here are some basic terminal commands that are very, very common for um, future development for programmers. Uh, this is stuff that you're gonna learn in the future if you don't know it already. It's okay if you don't know it. Uh, most of the time you're just gonna be running it within PyCharm anyway or a different IDE. Um, but it's helpful to know some basic stuff like how to navigate to different folders using CD or how to list all of the files within a, a folder using LS. Those are like the two most common commands I always use. So now if we wanna go ahead and run this hello world Python file, all we have to do is do Python and then space the file name. So hello underscore world dot py. And now there we go, we get the output. Hello world, hello Simpson 69. So essentially what is happening behind the scenes is you're running this Python uh, terminal command and essentially it's gonna invoke the Python interpreter. So it's gonna read all of your code within the hello world Python file and it's going to try interpreting it and then running it. So for example, it's gonna start at the top here because programs are run from top to bottom. It's gonna to come to this line that says print. It's gonna interpret this line so it knows how to run the print function because this is part of Python. So it's just gonna print that out to the console and then it's gonna to go to this one, do the same thing. This one is going to evaluate this uh, arithmetic first and then it's gonna do the same thing. So essentially all you really need to know is that using the Python command, you can run any Python scripts that you create and that's pretty much it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Now you know how to run Python code using the Python command in a terminal. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the description below, I'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out. You can bookmark it, come back to it later. If you forget any concepts or you just wanna review the concepts I taught in this video, I'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video. Although your reviews are greatly appreciated. So yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers. You can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, Spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, if you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I want to tell you is that if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members, and also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.